Imagine a book filled with words no one can read, pictures of plants that don't exist, and stars that never shone in our sky. This is the Voynich Manuscript, one of history's greatest puzzles. Its language is unknown, its purpose a mystery. Discovered in 1912 by Wilfred Voynich, a book dealer searching through old tomes near Rome, it immediately stood out. The pages, made of animal skin, are covered in faded ink and bizarre, beautiful drawings. Voynich became obsessed, but never solved its secrets. The manuscript is divided into sections, dreamlike plants, strange astronomical charts, and pages of naked figures bathing in green liquid, all connected by odd tubes. It's as if the book describes a world parallel to ours, logical yet utterly alien. The script is the heart of the puzzle. Not random, but flowing, structured, and repetitive like a real language, yet no one knows the rules or meanings. The world's greatest codebreakers tried and failed. The book remains a perfect secret, a message without a translation. It sits, silent, daring us to understand. Every page deepens the enigma. It's a universe trapped in a single book. The text's structure suggests intention, not nonsense. Some words repeat, patterns emerge, but the code remains unbroken. The manuscript is a lock without a key. It's a challenge passed down through generations. What is it trying to tell us? Why was it written? Who was its author? The Voynich manuscript is a whisper from the past waiting for someone or something to finally listen. Its mystery endures, as captivating now as it was a century ago. The question remains, can it ever be unlocked? Why does this book fascinate us? Because humans are driven to solve the unsolvable. The Voynich manuscript is the ultimate puzzle box promising a reward to anyone who can open it. Is it lost wisdom, a magical text, or an elaborate hoax? The possibilities fuel our obsession. Scholars, scientists, and amateurs have all tried to crack its code, hoping to make history. Each failure only adds to its legend. The book reflects the hopes and theories of whoever studies it. Alchemy, alien messages, lost science. It's a blank slate for our dreams and fears. The manuscript is a treasure chest of potential knowledge cures, cosmic secrets, forgotten rituals, its power lies in what we imagine it could be. Now, a new kind of mind is joining the quest, a mind made of silicon and electricity. Artificial intelligence is about to take its turn. Will it succeed where humans have failed? The stage is set for a new chapter in the manuscript story. The ultimate puzzle meets the ultimate codebreaker. The world's best codebreakers have tried, and failed, to unlock the Voynich manuscript. William Friedman, who broke Japan's purple code, spent years searching for patterns, ciphers, and hidden messages. He concluded it was an artificial language but couldn't crack its rules. Others thought it was shorthand, steganography, or even a musical code. Every theory led to a dead end. The missing piece was a Rosetta Stone, a parallel text in a known language. Without it, the manuscript stands alone, a linguistic island. Some called it a hoax, crafted to fool collectors. But the language is too complex, following subtle patterns that are hard to fake. It's too real to be nonsense too strange to be understood. The book remains suspended between code and hoax, unsolved and unyielding. Each failed attempt only deepens the mystery. The manuscript resists every key we've tried. Its secrets remain locked away. The question lingers. Is it a message, a trick, or something else entirely? The world waits for a breakthrough, the puzzle endures. For a century, human minds failed to crack the Voynich manuscript. Now, artificial intelligence enters the scene, a pure pattern-finding machine, free from human bias. Scientists fed the entire manuscript to the AI letter by letter, word by word. The AI wasn't told what to look for, it simply searched for patterns. It compared the manuscript's structure to hundreds of known languages, analyzing entropy and order. The result, the Voynich manuscript is not a hoax. Its text has the statistical fingerprint of a real language with grammar and rules. The book is speaking, we just don't know what it's saying. Next, the AI acted as a universal translator, mapping Voynichesi to ancient languages. It searched for similarities in word structure and sentence flow, testing millions of possibilities. This was a brute force attack, guided by intelligent pattern recognition. The world watched as a machine attempted what human genius could not. Could AI finally unlock the manuscript's secrets? The moment of truth had arrived. The ghost in the machine was ready to speak to the ghost in the book. The ancient puzzle faced a new kind of mind. The stakes had never been higher. The world held its breath. Would the code finally break? The breakthrough came quietly, a whisper of data. The AI found a strong statistical match between Voynichese and early Semitic proto-languages. It wasn't a direct translation but the patterns were clear. The AI proposed Voynichese was built on ancient Hebrew and Aramaic roots, 
scrambled through complex anagrams. Using this key, the AI began translating. The first words were simple labels for plants like koron, crown, and ayin, I. A small dictionary emerged revealing poetic symbolic language. The herbal section described not just remedies but effects on mind and spirit, a pharmacopoeia for the soul. The astronomical section linked health to lunar and stellar cycles, guiding rituals and timing. The most shocking discovery, the text was written by a community, not an individual. Patterns suggested a matriarchal society, a circle of women healers and mystics. The language was rich with feminine perspectives, discussing childbirth, women's health, and a female life-giving principle. The Voynich manuscript was not a madman's riddle or a conman's trick. It was the secret book of a forgotten society, preserving sacred knowledge. For the first time, the book began to speak. Its first words were about nature, healing, and the earth. The silence was finally broken. The manuscript's true story was beginning to emerge. As translation deepened, the manuscript's secrets grew profound and unsettling. The bathing figures described soul cleansing, not biology. Tubes symbolized spiritual connections, channels for empathy and shared consciousness. The text detailed rituals for trance states, self-healing, and connecting minds, centuries before modern psychology. It warned of diseases of the spirit, depression, anxiety, paranoia, caused by losing touch with nature or community. Cures were rituals, meditations, and plant remedies, emphasizing holistic health. The Book of Shadows explored the mind's darkness, inner voices, intrusive thoughts, and methods for mastering them. The manuscript was both a guide to healing and a map of inner turmoil. It described surviving great climate changes, ice ages, global warming, by preserving plants, food, and social bonds. The book was a survival guide for catastrophe, a message to future generations. It was a desperate attempt to pass on critical knowledge. The manuscript's wisdom was meant to outlast disaster. Its message survival depends on unity, knowledge, and connection. AI's decoding of the Voynich manuscript forces us to rethink history. The book unites science and spirituality, showing they were once inseparable. Its authors were both mystics and scientists, explorers of nature and the mind. The manuscript challenges our belief in modern superiority, hinting at lost wisdom. Botanists and pharmacologists now study its plants. Neuroscientists examine its psychological techniques. The book is a new frontier, bridging ancient wisdom and modern science. It reminds us that history is full of locked rooms, other texts and artifacts waiting for the right key. AI is that new key, helping us listen to the past in ways never before possible. The story of the Voynich Manuscript is just the beginning. Our understanding of humanity is only starting to unfold. The past has more to teach us than we ever imagined. The manuscript's voice, once silent, now echoes into the future. The map of knowledge is being redrawn. The Voynich Manuscript's journey, from a dusty shelf to the circuits of AI, is a story about time. The past is alive, full of secrets that can still speak to us. For centuries we failed to understand this book. It took a new kind of intelligence to break the silence. This marks a turning point. We're not just studying history, we're conversing with it. AI is our new partner in discovery, able to tackle mysteries once thought impossible. But with this power comes responsibility. We must respect the wisdom we uncover. The manuscript is not just data, it's the legacy of a forgotten people. We must listen, learn, and honor their voices. The goal is not just to solve puzzles, but to understand what it means to be human. The Voynich manuscript is a story of hope. No secret is forever, no voice truly lost. The technologies we create today illuminate the world of yesterday. The wisdom of the past can guide us toward a better tomorrow. The book that no one could read has finally spoken. Its message, there is always more to discover.